Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm back with a, another collection video. This time I'm going through my MAC Cosmetics collection. Now I've just done a full three-part uh, video on my makeup collection. If you've missed that, I will leave that linked down below and I also went through my makeup bag. But this is the final area of makeup I have to share with you. I'm really excited to be going through uh, all of these products today so let's get straight into it so there is some more on the left hand side but obviously focusing the camera on this area is probably the most important um, place to start with so I am going to just quickly go through some of the MAC brushes I have um, look I haven't been collecting MAC brushes for a while um, they're fairly new so all of these are fairly new but most of these things in this collection are not currently available just to let you know because it is a limited edition MAC collection. So these are all the brushes from the um, last year's Christmas collection. They sort of had this sort of sparkle theme to them. Really nice colors. I, I just really enjoy um, this sort of sparkly pink look. These brushes are really nice. I use this one on a regular basis um, for highlighting and things like that. The brushes themselves are just really good quality. Yeah, and this one's great for blending. This one's great for little details like the inner corner. This one's also great for like light contouring and stuff like that. So yeah, I really like the brushes. I've got one of the uh, MAC Hint of Hollywood brushes. This is such an amazing brush. It's so soft and fluffy. And I just love the design of it. It came with a uh, blush palette. This is from the currently available Tempting Fate collection. It's a gorgeous little eyeshadow blending brush. And I've got the two Cruella brushes from the recent Cruella collection. I've got both of the covers on. Once again, a little eyeshadow blending brush. And if I can take this cover off, there we go. This is a powder brush for the face. I'm trying to put this through on camera. There we go. <laughs> There we go. So those are the brushes. So I am going to move into some of the larger compacts. And these compacts do not have um, boxes with them. Now, usually the ones that don't have boxes are ones that I have purchased secondhand because I always aim to keep the boxes if I can. Or some of these also just didn't come with boxes. Sometimes they come in gift sets and things like that. So they don't have boxes. But I'll try and explain it as I go. So I'm just going to turn this around. I'm just going to move this camera down a touch. There we go. So this is just one part of my powder slash compact collection. So let's get into it. So the first one I've got for you is the Disney Maleficent powder. Let's open it up. So this is just a very basic face powder. Uh, the color is natural beauty powder, natural. So it's just a very light um, colored powder. Once again, most of these I do buy for collection purposes. I don't buy them because I'm going to use them an awful lot. So just keep that in mind as I go through the video. Next item I've got is an Alexander McQueen from fall 2007. Alexander McQueen was a very famous UK designer, fashion designer. Um, unfortunately, he did pass away quite a while ago. And this one is called New Vegas Mineralized Skin Finish. So that's basically a highlighter. The mineralized skin finishes are basically highlighters. Next one I have is from, oh, what was this collection called? I can't think of what the collection was called off the top of my head. It has been in the last couple of years, this collection. So this is what it looks like on the inside, sort of like a pearl look. It is called Into Eternity, Electric Wonder. That's the collection, Electric Wonder, Iridescent Powder. So still quite like a highlighty kind of thing. This one did not come in a box because it was a part of a Christmas collection. This is from Christmas 2020. This is a gorgeous highlighter. Sort of like that silvery white colored highlighter that we all love. And it is called Let It Go uh, Glow <laughs> Extra Dimension Skin Finish. 
I think let it go is also, <clears throat> excuse me, a great metaphor. <clears throat> My throat's deciding to be a bit rusty. This is the Mac L Seed uh, highlighter. Very pretty design. Obviously not a fan of gold highlighters in general. A lot of you already know that. This is called Demon's Glow Extra Dimension Skin Finish. This is from the Mac Heatherette collection. This is quite an old collection. I would say maybe 2005, 2007, somewhere like that. So this is quite a rare one. This is just like a pink beauty powder by the looks of it. Alpha Girl Beauty Powder. I've got the MAC Trolls, Good Luck Trolls, in Play It Proper Beauty Powder. Let's open this up. I think this is quite pinky from memory. Oh, yeah, light pink. It's just, it's got the Trolls design on it. Patrick Starr, this was his summer collection when he was with MAC. Um, I believe this is a bronzer or it's the highlighter. No, it's the highlighter. I couldn't remember if he had this as a bronzer or not. And this is the Hot and Heavy Opalescent Face Powder. And this didn't come – oh, no, it did come with a box. I do have one in a box up there. I think you can see it in the very background, so I'll show you that in a sec. This one didn't come with a box. This is from the MAC Hint of Hollywood collection. I recently did a review on it. There we go. And it is a Blush with Fame Frost Powder Blush. Let's turn it around. So I believe this is from like a snowball collection from a few Christmases ago. I can't remember which Christmas it was exactly. Let me just open it up for you. So it's got the snowflake design on it. It's called Happy Go Dazzlingly. Dazzlingly. Opalescent face powder. I think this might also be Happy Go Dazzling. Oh no, this is a different one. Sometimes I double up. This is Whisper of Guilt. Extra Dimension Skin Finish. Aha, uh -huh. this is a little bit more, um, just a little bit more goldy. Okay, beautiful. These two are the same I know already. This is from the Mac Aaliyah Collection. I love Aaliyah. Aaliyah was one of my favorite artists, so I had to get in on this action. It's got her signature there, and it is a shimmery bronzer. It is Baby Girl Bronzing Powder because Baby Girl was her nickname. So those are the powders. Let me just pop those back over here for a second and switch over to the eyeshadow palettes. I'm also fairly new to the eyeshadow palettes, I will say that. Um, so, yeah, the, 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 the ones I've got here are fairly recent ones, um, except for some of them. Some of them are a little bit older as well. I do have a couple of other face powder compacts just in the front. Um, I've got the Rossi De Palma MAC one. This is just a normal sort of setting powder, I believe. Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder. So, yeah, it's just a general powder. This is the Aladdin Blush, I believe, or the Bronzer. Bronzer. My, oh, Your Wish is My Companion Powder Blush, but it does kind of look like a bronzer for me. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's got the Genie Lantern does kind of look like a bronzer for me personally, but that's okay. I have got the Hint of Hollywood palette, eyeshadow palette. It's got the little shade names there. I'll pop them up there. Nice, fairly simple neutral palette, but still a nice palette. I can't remember if it's got an exact name. Let me just check. View from the top eyeshadow palette. There we go. Pop it back in there. In you go. Good. This is the uh, Tempting Fate eyeshadow palette. 
Feast Your Eyes is the specific name. There we go. Stunning colours. Really enjoyed using this one. Really fun colours there. Once again, I've done reviews on the Hint of Hollywood and the uh, Tempting Fate collections very recently if you're interested in seeing more about those as they are currently available as of making this video. I've got the Cruella eyeshadow palette. This is quite a unique eyeshadow palette. I'll show you why in a second. So this is what it looks like, but look at this. They snap off just like that. That is the sheet underneath. But they all snap apart into individual pieces. So all these pieces can become their own sort of thing. Let me just pop this back on. Just like that. No mirror for obvious reasons. I wasn't quite sure why there was no mirror initially. I was like, why? And then I realized it's because these compartments separate interesting color story i mean not for everyone definitely not my sort of color story but i just found the whole thing to be quite interesting so there we go let's pop her back in her sleeve next one is from the nutcracker collection i believe this was a very old christmas collection so there we go maybe 2015 2016 i wasn't into makeup back then so any guess is better than mine this is the nutcracker sweet warm eyeshadow palette comes with the brush as well which i think i am just gonna pop back down there very rare to find it with the brush i used to own this palette without the brush and now i found one with the brush so Happy days for me. Let me just pop it back in behind the screen. This didn't come with a case because it was a secondhand one. This is the Electric Wonder eyeshadow palette. I think it might have another name. Oh, Ignite Wonder face palette, not the eyeshadow palette. Sorry. I should have known that. So those are the colors there. Really nice, diverse range of shades. There is a mirror down here, which I'm obviously not going to show you on camera because it just reflects everything. So we won't do that. This one is actually a Nutcracker Sweet Lip Gloss um, collection. I just put it in here because it's the easiest place for it. So you pull on that and the lip glasses, cream sheen lip glasses by the looks of it, pop out. Dazzle Glass, cream sheen, cream sheen. There we go. So it has, yeah, cream sheen glasses, dazzle glasses, sweet red lip gloss kit. You can always tell when they're Christmas collections because they always go like crazy with the kits and things together. So this at the back is the L Seed eyeshadow palette. This is a stunning palette. I managed to got this, get this pretty cheap second hand, so I was pretty excited about that. It is the full face kit, so it's got eyeshadows and everything. El Cesaro, apparently. Stunning. Nice colours in there. You've got some neutrals. Everything that you could possibly want for an eyeshadow palette. Love this design. Apparently, um, they're a fashion designer or something, or a sculptor or something, and that sort of um, their design. So how cool is that, huh? Pop it back in there. And then the last palette I have here is the MAC Botanic Panic. This is definitely one of my favorite MAC palettes of recent times. I mean, once again, Stunnings. Great balance of neutrals with colors, which is always nice to see. Um, very interesting color story. You can do a lot with it. Um, which is always a good thing. So there we go. So that is the eyeshadows and some of the powder palettes done. 
let us continue. I am going to bring out um, some of the things on that far right hand side for you now. So I am just going to move these all the way over just so it's easier for us to look at everything that's going on. Let's pop that over there for a second. So this is a unit that's all together. So I am going to try and bring it over all together. Look at that. There is more behind it, as you can see. Um, you know what? I might just get these fixed pluses out of the way and then I'll have some extra space. Okay, so I've got some original fix plus in the front. I've got the fix plus mat here. I've got the, oh, what collection was this? I can't remember what collection this was. Let me just double check. Let's see. Oh, Cherry Blossom. Yeah, I thought it was Cherry Blossom. The Cherry Blossom, the latest Cherry Blossom collection, I believe. Fix Plus. This is the old floral collection. Fix Plus. This is gorgeous. And it is, yeah, the Cherry Blossom, the old one. This is far prettier than the newer one that they came out with. Far more pretty. They've all got really nice scents to them as well. Unless they're the, like the regular Fix Plus family, they all have really good scents to them. This is the Black Cherry Blossom one. It'll still just say Cherry Blossom on the back though. They always have a Cherry Blossom collection for spring. I mean, <laughs> they're not going to win any awards for originality, but um, the scent always kind of changes a little bit. So I guess that's their originality anyway. <laughs> so that's that. I've got two more at the back. Let me see if I can reach them. Oh, that's just a regular Fix Plus right at the back with the container. I'll just show you the container. It's got those little sparkles on it. So there you go. You can never have enough Fix Plus. And this is the Tempting Fate one. And this is in gold light, which is available currently in their range. But this is a limited edition packaging. So why not? I thought, why not? So if I give it a shake... You do see the gold lights coming through there and this gold print is limited edition. So there we go. How cool is that, huh? So now that I've brought this collection forward, I can share it with you. Let me just move it back a touch so you can still see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I think I'm just going to start right at the front. These are the three Hint of Hollywood um, lipsticks that I recently reviewed. The first one is called, some of these names are hard to focus. And I'm trying to see it behind the camera too. Hashtag winner. Nice red colour there. Bluey red. I think this is Apres Soiree. Hang on, let me just double check. The envelope, please. The envelope, please. The next one's called a prey soiree. <laughs> I know that now. I can't get that name out of my head ever since I did that video. I just love it. So here's a prey soiree. It's sort of like a deep burgundy color um, on the lips. It's really pretty. Okay, and these shadows in the front were from Christmas 2020. Little shimmery shadows here. Little individual shadows, usually really expensive on their own, but great in the set because they weren't too expensive. Sparktacular Extra Dimension Foil Eyeshadow. So they're foils, they're very um, sparkly. They're even sort of battling with my ring light because they're so sparkly. This one is Silver Bells. Oh, stunning. Love it. And the last one is called... Oh, Helps if I read the back. Explosive chemistry. Love it. So beautiful. Those shadows are really beautiful. Okay, let's get into these ones here. So this is a Mariah Carey one. The Mariah Carey ones came in this gorgeous packaging. This one is called 
just tilting my head. All I Want Frost Lipstick. They all have a butterfly design for Mariah Carey. Gorgeous. And all these lipsticks generally have that sort of classic vanilla scent from MAC. Another Mariah Carey. So hard for this to focus. See, if I focus it in the middle, you guys can see it, but I can't because um, I've got my camera set up in the way. This is Cream Sheen lipstick in a bit of bubbly. Bit of bubbly. Once again, I like I said, I just love the designs there. This one is another bit of bubbly. Did I pick up two of the same one? Or do I just have two of the same one? I'll double check. I don't I didn't think I had two of the same unless I've pop popped them back. Oh no, I do have two of the same. Oh, there you go. That wasn't intentional. I get so OOC frost lipstick. This is crazy. This is a crazy one. And these are all named after her songs and stuff like that. So I've got three lipsticks from the Christmas 2020 collection. This is called Heart Goes Boom Matte Lipstick. Pinky ready colour there. This one is Ice Ice Baby Frost Lipstick. Frosty pink. This was also in like a set collection. I think it was with the eyeshadows and the um, highlighter. This one is Out With A Bang ampl Amplified Cream. Gorgeous red colour. Cool. Okay, so let me just bring this forward even more because now we've done that part of that. So on the side, I've got one of the MAC Toledo lipsticks. And this is in Oxblood. The packaging is just completely amazing of these lipsticks. Stunning. Gorgeous, nudie colour. Warm nude, I would call that. I love these double packaging things. They normally don't do these anymore. You can tell it's an old MAC lipstick when they've got double packaging or sleeve packaging on them. So these are also two MAC Toledo lipsticks right on the edge. I think one of these is also Oxblood. Let me just double check in my little thing. Yep, matte Oxblood. So I'll pop that back because you've already seen that. And this is a matte in Victoriana. Not much left of this one, but gorgeous, ready colour. Love it. And then the two right at the back that are also without a package. Uh, we've got the Aladdin lipstick. This one is called... Oh, it's a bit hard to read even out of the light. It's called Raja. It is a matte lipstick. It's looking a lot more red on camera, but it is more browny pinky off camera. And then I've got a Riri MAC lipstick back before she started Fenty Beauty, and it's called Talk That Talk Retro Matte. Oof, love it. It's got her signature in there. Really nice colour. Very much Rihanna and very much of that era when she was making music still. It, kind of her grungy era. Okay, so we've got some at the front. So I'm going to start with this one. This is from like a bronze collection. I can't remember exactly what the name was, but it is called Cote d'Amour. Yeah, let me just double check what it says. Amplified Cream Lipstick. No, it doesn't tell you exactly what collection, but there was a little mini collection they did that had like some bronze type items in there. Nice splotchy packaging. Another pinky red. 
this is kind of boring now, isn't it? Because <laughs> I tend to go for the pinky red colours, I won't lie to you guys. So you're probably looking at some of these colours going, they're all the same. Well, they are to a degree. These two lipsticks here are Nick and Sam Chapman's lipsticks. I don't know a lot about these ladies, but um, I don't know. It just interested me from a collection standpoint. So here's Nick's lipstick. It does come in the standard gold component that the Maker lipsticks usually do. Nudie pink colour. Um, the other Maker lipsticks, like the Barbie ones and stuff like that, are so were so hard to buy at the time, and they're still really hard. So I've got one of the Barbie ones, which I'll show you soon, but the other ones I had no luck. Really hard to get a hold of them in Australia. Uh, here's the Sam Chapman one. Yeah, it was extremely hard to get a hold of them, so I didn't bother. Another red. I mean, how many red lipsticks do you need? <laughs> there are a lot of red lipsticks in my collection, I won't lie. Red just symbolises something very deep for me. I don't know why, but it just does. Here is one from the Honour of Kings collection. This was a, um, I think it's something to do with Chinese symbols or something I, I don't know exactly what the origin is I'm just gonna try and unbox this behind the camera because these boxes that are plastic I really hate them because I struggle to open them so yeah there we go got it open so this was the one that came oh no it wasn't in a collection I bought it separately I did buy something from the honor of kings collection it doesn't really interest me but the colors were really cool so <laughs> there we go another red when in doubt, always go for the red lipstick. It's always the best. But yeah, these symbols and things are basically a part of the game or something, I think. Yeah, so Brave Red was that lipstick. Here is one from that Cherry Blossom collection that I just showed you the spray from. This is called Sea Sheer. And it is a luster lipstick. Sea Sheer, Sea Sheer. So it's got this sort of matte yet metallic kind of pinky colour. It's kind of strange. So this is more of a pinky colour. Pinky nude. Once again, the colours are a little bit strange um, with the ring light, but you get the idea. Next one, um, I believe this was from Christmas 2019, I think. This is called Starstruck, this lipstick. It is a, it's the Kiss of Stars collection. That's what it was called. Kiss of Stars lipstick. No other details from there. I think this is like a really shiny lipstick from memory. Starstruck. There we go. Crazy. It's got like star details on it. Crazy, huh? Love it. The more wacky lipsticks um, are, the better, especially for collections. I just love the wacky ones the most. Here's Shimmer and Spice, also from an old Mac Christmas collection. I, like I said, I think it's called Snowball Collection or something. Let me just see. Frost, it's a frost lipstick. Yeah, I think the collection was like Snowball or Snowflake or something. Beautiful shimmery colour there. Pretty true to colour on the camera, which is good. Sort of like a metallic-y purpley brown. It's kind of a strange colour. I don't think I have anything like that in my collection currently. Okay, next layer. I've got two of those Electric Wonder lipsticks. This one is called Let's Mez Around. Mez Around? And it is a luster lipstick. Gorgeous packaging. Love this sort of splatter packaging. Oh, shit, I just dropped the lid. Whoopsie. That is a dusky pink. I'm just going to leave that lipstick on the side because I just dropped the lid. And if I try and pick it up, I'll knock the camera over because the camera's right in front of me. This is the Naturalist. From memory, uh, no, the lip glass is gold i was trying to think which color this would be i can't remember ah uh, yeah new color that makes sense 
being called the naturalist, that it would be a nude colour. There we go. Next one is from like the, it's like an Aztec collection or something. It was a long time ago. This is called Hot Chocolate. It is a satin lipstick. These are ridiculously hard to find online. I had to dig. And same with the um, palette that I'll show you later on. I mean, not the palette, the um, powder. Gorgeous sort of purpley, nudie colour once again. Lovely. Packaging is probably one of my favourites. I just love this sort of traditional tribal packaging. I think it's just stunning. These are Bao Bao Wen lipsticks. Or one, Bao Bao One, when Someone correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. And this one is called Lavender Jade. Gorgeous packaging. Sort of got a rough look to it, but it's really pretty. Love, like I said, I love the wild lipsticks, and this is definitely wild, like a very bright purple. Love that. Let's see if I can pick up this lid for this other lipstick without knocking this camera. I don't think I can. I think I'm just going to have to push it with my foot. Yeah, I've knocked the camera already. Hang on. I think I've got it. Yay! Oh, no, I've dropped it again. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it because I've dropped it twice now. And this one is called Romantic Breakdown. Oh, Jesus. That doesn't sound too good, does it? Oh, there we go. Once again, same packaging. Okay. Nice nudie colour, that one. That one is a luster lipstick, just to let you guys know. If you are interested. Got two from this sort of mosaic collection they had. I don't know what exactly it was, but these were the two that they had. This is Amber Sand. Stunning packaging. Just in love with this packaging. Gorgeous. Ready colour there. Ready nudie. Love those sorts of colours. They're so flattering for pretty much everybody. And terracotta. Once again, same sort of packaging. Just a deeper version of ampersand, really. Or ambersand, should I say, not ampersand. <laughs> there we go. Gorgeous. Okay, where did that lid go? No, it's too far underneath the camera. I won't try and pick it up now. This is from a um, Chinese New Year collection. I think it was 2020. And this is called Dark Side. And it is a amplified cream lipstick. Completely different design to what MAC normally does. Love this style of design. Gorgeous. Stunning. Next one I've got, I don't know the name of this collection. Oh, it might have been, um, oh, shit. It's some design I can't, Chris Chang, I think. Let me see if I can tell what it is. Now, it says matte lipstick. It's called Vermilion V. Vermilion V. Ah, oh, I can't remember which one this is. That's going to bother me for a while because <laughs> I tend to. Oh, yeah, it is Chris Chang. It says on the actual lipstick, Chris Chang. I got it right. This is definitely one of my favorite designs. This design is out of this world. And of course, red lipstick. <laughs> one of my favorites out of all of these. This is one of my favorites because it's just so intricate. The design and everything is just amazing. I love it. 
This is one of my favourites for sentimental reasons. I love Dame Edna. This is a Dame Edna lipstick in Gladiola. Oh, I just love Dame Edna. And the colour purple, I mean, of course. You guys know my love of the colour purple. Oh, she's just having a bit of a hard time coming out of the box because the older lipsticks came with a little insert. Um, so I'm just trying to not take the insert out. But there's the insert. They always come with a little insert. And this one says, we all need a Mac over possum, Dame Edna. So Dame Edna is a very famous character um, oh, by Barry Humphreys. That's his name. And um, her catchphrase is possums. So calling people possums. That's her famous flamboyant glasses. Gorgeous color. Love this sort of pinky color. Definitely one of my favorites for, yeah, just sentimental reasons. I love Dame Edna in general. So fairly natural that I would love a lipstick made by her. So there you go. But yeah, I definitely love to keep the inserts and any details that I can with collecting. That's a big tip that I'd give anybody. Any sort of things that you get with your purchases, definitely keep them. This is the Kelly Osborne and this is in Riot House. We love a bit of Kelly Osborne. Love this collection that she did with her mother, Sharon. Sharon's got red ones. I don't think I've got any of the Sharon lipsticks, unfortunately, but that's how life goes. I'd love to get one of the Sharon Osborne lipsticks. That would make my day. I think she only had the two lipsticks as well. Next one is called Strip Poker. This is a bright pink from memory. Because this is one of the oldest ones that I have in my collection that I can remember purchasing. Oh no, this is a light colour as well. I can't remember. I must have remembered that wrong. Not to worry. That is that. I thought there was a pink one. I might have been mixing up with a different collection. This is from that same... Um, Cho Blossom collection that I was showing you that Fix Plus from. This is a matte lipstick. It's called Tusk Tusk. Yeah. Lovely design. Hot pink. I mean, I tend to go for hot pink. I love the hot pink ones a lot. So there you go. If you couldn't tell already. Got the Maker Barbie style lipstick. Hashtag Barbie style. This took a bit of effort to get and definitely a bit of bidding. I got it on eBay. Classic gold design that the Maker lipsticks have. Classic sort of muted pink that Barbie would definitely be into. Gorgeous. Okay, so I am running out of room on my 40 minutes of filming. So Hopefully I can get to the end of all these. If I can't, I will start again for uh, part two. This is the Viva Glam Rosalia lipstick, I think. Uh, no, this is VG26. V Viva Glam 26. This is not the Rosalia lipstick. I think they had Rosalia for this campaign, though. So it's got the red in it that the Viva Glam lipsticks normally have. And it's a beautiful, bright orangey red we love that i am not going to pack these away just because i want to try and get through these lipsticks before the camera runs out so this is patrick star this is from his last collection the christmas collection it's called peachy peter peter is his brother's name i think gorgeous packaging on this one another muted nude it is a matte lipstick. This is the 25 Years Viva Glam lipstick. So the VG26 was the one that was released a year after. This is the special edition 25 year one. Gorgeous packaging. Another gorgeous red color. Um, yeah, Viva Glam 1 matte lipstick. That's what it's called. 
Okay, I think that's it because if I continue on, um, the camera will stop. So this is all for part one. Thank you for watching. Sorry for rushing near the end, but I didn't want to run out of camera time. Uh, yeah, stay tuned for part two. Bye for now.